Welcome to part 7 of Star Fox 64, and now it's time for us to get on to the hard route. Remember in the last episode, or should I say episode 1, I failed to fly underneath these rings. And for good reason! Because this is where uh, the hard route takes place if you manage to succeed. Oh yeah, and by the way, Falco must survive. That too. Now, once you manage to do this, you're going to follow Falco over to the hard side of this, where you will find nothing but birds dropping bombs on on you. I mean, you can use the homing smart bomb or the homing attack to actually do some damage to these birds, but the best you're going to do is get about maybe... 30, 40 kills here. I mean, you gotta do as much as you can to try to gain up to 150 here in Corneria. But whatever the case, this was a short route. Really. Now, you might want to hang low because this is coming back from the old school Star Fox. I mean, this is literally the first boss on the easy and normal route of the Super Nintendo version of Star Fox. And for those of you who haven't grown up with this, and actually grown up with Assault, I'm sorry. Anyway... <clears throat> first off, you just gotta open up... Well, actually, destroy the compartments that open up, that's what I meant to say. It won't take long, but unfortunately, unlike Star Fox 64... I mean, I, yeah, that's right, that's what I'm saying. Unlike Star Fox 64, in the SNES version, the compartments actually makes it the shields. This will only take damage once the compartments are gone. So, yeah, since the compartments are gone, he'll try to kamikaze you. And I still managed to get hit somehow. If you manage to destroy him really quickly, you'll get a hit plus 10. But it's not that hard. Once you destroy the compartments, that's it. You can just waste him. He's a lot easier than the Star Fox uh, SNES version of this boss. We're heading out. All Whatever the case, work. folks. Now it's time for us to go to Sector Y because we defeated that boss. You're becoming more like your father. Yeah, real simple, right? <laughs> yeah, it's about to get a little bit harder than this. Oh boy, it's about to get a little bit harder than this. So let's head over there, shall we? Oh, and I apologize for the sudden frame rate drops. You see, the emulator can't handle so much on screen. It's not my computer, it's the emulator itself. Because trust me, my computer actually can handle an N64 emulator, it's just that the emulator itself can't handle Star Fox. Speaking of which, we're at Sector Y. Fox, we're under attack. Help us out here. So, Sector Y... I'm on my way actually has a split path, and it all depends on how many enemies you kill by the end of this stage. You have to literally not try to kill any enemy in this stage in order for you not to succeed. But whatever the case, <clears throat> 150 is the medal count for this base, as opposed to Corneria this is actually a lot easier to get 150 if you shoot everything on the high ground. Let's back up the squadron. But this place has Somebody nothing but mechs. These mechs may be an annoyance later on in this stage. Bear that in mind. Now, there are three different types of colors of mechs, but they are go all gonna go down the same. Like that one mech right here that nobody can see. Easily wrecked that guy and got myself a uh, twin blasters for my trouble. So, the whole gist of this is we need to get a hundred kills by the time we end this stage. Otherwise, we're going to Katina. Like I said, easier done than said, unless you really, really don't try. That means you're going to be using your charge shot a lot. That means you're going to be using smart bombs a lot. That means you're also going to be using your twin blasters. 
you're gonna have to use whatever you have, whatever it takes to get 100. Because that's all that you need to do. I mean, sometimes you actually hear uh, Falco degrading you if you don't get enough. Or you'll hear Peppy cheering you on if you actually do get enough. Like what you're gonna hear later. Oh god. But for right now, we're just picking off as many enemies as humanly possible. The stage itself is not bad. It is a rather fun stage to play. I like the hard route, save for one planet. Okay, maybe two areas in the game, but other than that, well, in this route, actually. But other than that, the hard route's not so bad because it's supposed to be challenging, but it's also fun. Because there's so many enemies to take down, and it is just action-packed. God forbid when we get to Area 6, I'm going to be fangasming. Not really, but I'm going to have so much fun in that stage. Oh, and speaking of Star Fox, as it turns out, Star Fox is a uh, downloadable character in Stars, I suppose? I guess that means that there won't be another Star Fox game because Zero did poorly. Hey, hey, as poorly as Zero did, at least it's better than Assault and Adventures. It's definitely better than Adventures. Now then, we got this red mech. He's really hard to catch, but if you use the uh, lock-on feature, you can just simply destroy him. You're becoming a better pilot. Oh yeah, by the way, if you get more than 70, Peppy will cheer you on saying you're becoming a better pilot. If you get less than 70, Falco will say that you're supposed to shoot the enemies, Fox. But we're pretty much done here, because after this, uh fleet of enemies, we're pretty much going to the boss! Oh yeah, and smart bombs may help, but I don't think it'll do too much. Twin blasters, on the other hand, well that's a different story! And now we got the boss. Yet another all range mode boss, ladies and gentlemen. Trust me, it won't be the last time we've seen these all range mode bosses. Alright! We have these two mechs here. They are really, really quick, and they can follow your characters around and, of course, obviously shoot them down as if they were enemies. Now, if you manage to catch one of them while they're trying to shoot and aim, you'll be able to take them down real easily. Because they will try to gun for your uh, partners. But... If you take a boat down, Nobody just yet. the main annoyance shows up. Uh, this is Silver Shogun. Fuck this battle. Aside from the fact that his shield will block you, he's constantly chasing after your partners with blasters. Or wingmen with blasters. Hey, Einstein, I'm I didn't mean to side. shoot you, Falco. He's just in the way. And as you can see, he's constantly, uh, moving and twirling about. But after a while, he loses his shield. However, if he goes back to the base, he'll heal himself. Do not let this son of a bitch heal himself. Because it'll be a long fight if you do. Oh yeah, by the way, those other two mechs can also heal themselves too if you don't kill them. So bear that in mind. But, I stopped them from healing because that's what he was about to do. That's the only way you can easily get rid of him. Is what he's about to heal. Because he'll stand still to try to dock onto the, uh, docking bay. But whatever the case, we beat him, and we also got the mission accomplished. You all know what that means. Oh my god, we're going to Aquas. No. No. If there is a god, please help me. I hate that stage with every bit of my fiber. Almost as much as I hate Solar. No, actually, no. I hate it more than I hate Solar. And there is a good reason for it. Alright. 
This stage that's coming up next is infamous. And I do mean repeat infamous. Not because of its difficulty, because the Blue Marine is bullshit. So bear that in mind, ladies and gentlemen, that this is a one-way path. There's no way you could fail this or go somewhere else. <clears throat> I honestly I want wanted to change course and go to Katina whenever I come here, but... Yes, sir. Deploy the blue we're gonna have to do this. We're gonna have to take down Aquas. So, with, for, without further ado, let me introduce to you... Thank God, the only time we actually get to do this, the Blue Marine! And notice, the Blue Marine did not make an appearance in any of the Star Fox games. Other than this one. Why? Because the Blue Ma the Blue Marine is trash. It's trash! Alright. Blue Marine has twin blasters just like the R-Wing. The difference is, the, the Blue Marine has infinite torpedoes. Problem? This stage is dark as hell. The Blue Marine has poor maneuverability, and not to mention the fact that there is little to no uh, golden rings to be found. And for some reason, the starfish act like freaking landmines. God, I hate this fucking stage. Whatever the case, you're supposed to score 150 in this, uh, area, and, well, who am I kidding? It's not impossible, but because of the way the submarine's peripheral vision is, it is hard to see as much enemies to try to destroy them. Be careful, though, because these damn starfish, like you just saw, will let out a red smoke, which will cause multiple hits to you. And then there's these shellfish things, the giant eels, the anglerfish. Yeah, we're pretty much killing off the wildlife. Oh, by the way, they're all uh, bioorganic, so it doesn't really matter. Andros made them. We were supposed to destroy wow. them. Look at that. It's oh, and by the way, the pillars actually count as enemies. Don't run into them. Just, just saying, don't run into the pillars. That would be stupid. Oh, and there's these little tadpole things that you don't want to run into either. They hurt. They hurt badly. Now, the anglerfish is supposed to be hit three, so bear that in mind. Yeah, you can keep shooting torpedoes. Here's one problem. The torpedoes, even though they light your way, they are very slow! They're slow, they're obnoxious, and more importantly, they have a they have a recharge time. We don't need a recharge time. Seriously, that's annoying. <sighs> Screw it, I'm going to the checkpoint. I just don't care. Screw this stage. Oh, by the way, that octopus would have gave me a uh third golden ring, but unfortunately, I just don't care. I just want to get through this rancid stage. Oh god, there's a there's an angler first behind me, isn't there? Yep, it sure is. Keep shooting. We've got lots of torpedoes. <sighs> You're the torpedoes best. with infinite ammo. That's all fun and good. It's just one problem. These things shoot very slow. Oh, and then there's the jellyfish, too. Bear that in mind that these jellyfish can be destroyed by the torpedoes. Yeah, be careful not to get hit by the jellyfish, too. <sighs> oh, God! I thought I destroyed it, but I guess I didn't! Oh, that's just painful. God, I hate this state so much. And now there's rocks! Oh shit! I got a bad feeling about this box. Yeah, you have a bad feeling about this, so do I. We're nearing the boss, actually. Oh god! What the hell just happened? What the hell just hit me? Oh my goodness. 
Let, let, let me just go. Let me just go to the boss and let me survive, please. I found the Give me weapon. some rings. Anything. Ah. Oh. Whatever the case, we're now in clutch mode, ladies and gentlemen. This is Bakun. A gigantic clam. That's the bioweapon. That is the bioweapon. So, how are we supposed to defeat this? You see these things up top? Oh god, I just got hit by those worms. I gotta be careful. Just constantly shoot torpedoes at the top of the clam. So that way you can survive uh, the clam's onslaught with the pearls. Just keep shooting three torpedoes until you finally land enough hits to destroy Baku. At least the at least the worms is on top of Baku. The pillars itself they'll only raise up if you keep shooting the pillars. Be careful of the pearls, because the pearls will do damage to you too. This this boss can be long and frustrating. I really wish that the torpedoes actually fired a lot faster, because guess what? The only thing that Star Fox 64 for the 3DS fixed was the fact that it was dark. Other than that, the torpedoes still shoot slow as hell. You're gonna have to constantly shoot torpedoes to destroy the eye in Baku. That's the only thing that can hit him, because twin blasters won't do it. Or blasters in general won't do it. You just gotta make sure that the pearls don't hit the uh, clam as opposed to the torpedoes. No, man, let me try this again. You gotta make sure that the torpedoes don't hit the clam. I mean, okay, I'm angry because of the stage. But anyway, you're supposed to make sure that the torpedoes hit the clam, not the pearls. That's what I'm trying to say. Because before we got to this point, the pearls actually gave you a uh, life, but apparently not. Because it's, it's, it's in this last stand mode trying to protect itself from you. Yeah, your best bet is to keep shooting the shield and then fire a torpedo so it could go straight into its eye. Unfortunately, for some reason, these goddamn pearls are blocking my way. Well, of course, that's just a defense mechanism. Come on. Ah, oh, damn it. I was so close. He's only got two more hits and he's done. And I am seriously on clutch mode here. All right, one more hit and I got him. One more hit and I can finish him off. Yes! You did it. Woo! Fuck Aquas. I almost died, but thankfully this is the first, the first time I actually did it in one shot. Oh crap! Because at least, because I at least died uh, twice. Not to that boss, but to everything else in the state, specifically the starfish. Whatever the case, we've gone through the worst of it. Thanks a lot. I'll take the yeah, fuck Aquas. And I hope I never see this stage Falca, ever again. Anyway, I'll see you guys. Because we're going to be going over to Zone S. Oh, and by the way, whatever damage your teammate took from Sector Y, since they weren't involved in Aquas at all, they'll be fully healed in time for you to go to Zone S. You're gonna need it if you're trying to hunt for metals. And of course, if all of them are still alive, well... You're obviously gonna get the metal automatically in Aquas, but if they aren't, by the time you reach Aquas, well, you're screwed out of a metal. Whatever the case, folks, I'll see you guys in Part 8, when we take on Aquas and also another reviled stage of mine, Sector Z. Oh boy, this is gonna be fun. But whatever the case, folks, this is RVMan985. I'll see you guys next time on Star Fox 64. And after that, 
The finale will be on Sunday because I got to work really hard on Saturday. See you guys next time.